today I am going to read the Bible story. Yeah. The Bible title is Two by Two. Two by Two. Noah and the Flood. Genesis six to five nine nine chapter seventeen. The earth filled up with people, but they sinned so much that God was sorry he had made them. He decided to send a flood to wash away everyone on earth. So Adam and Eve was old. Now they're old. So they have laid many babies and... They have married and also laid a baby, and there were many people in the earth, like now, and they started to send very much. They were stealing, hitting. They were also poor people. When there were no sense. There were no poor people because they help everyone. And they're stealing so much since has came. So God was so sorry for them because that he have made it. So he decided to make a big flat on the earth. Then everyone will die, right? They're fighting and they're teasing someone, and that person is stealing, and they're fighting, and that person is also stealing, and father is saying something, and the son is not listening to father. That's bad. There was a man named Noah who wasn't like the others. Noah loved God and obeyed Him. God decided to spare Noah and his family from the flood. So, but still, he if he like flushed all the people, then they will all die and there will no one again. So, they but there were one man called Noah and his family. They didn't send many like others. They were kind, and they were faithful, and they loved God. So God decided only to um like save Noah and his family in of from the flood. See there, so. They're so kind. <laughs> They're saying each other and like if in the sun there is also like they're not talking with their family but they're very they're talking each other and they're each one mm, person they're looking happy. God warned Noah about the flood. He told him to build an enormous boat with a low roof, three decks, a window, and a door. In obedience, Noah built it. So God said to Noah that how to make a big boat to save, to be safe. And and Noah and God said, "You should make a low roof. It should be a low roof, three decks, and a window to look over, and a door, of course, a door." 
Yeah. So God has told how to make the boat to Noah. Who loved and obeyed God? Number one, who is telling is loving God? Or number two, teasing somebody? Or number three, Noah. Ugh. Number three is the correct answer. I like this part. <laughs> wow. That's a big boat. God told Noah to collect two of every kind of animal. One male, one female. Then Noah... His family and the animals went into the boat. God shut the door. <clears throat> then, God said to Noah to make two boats. No, sorry. Collect all kinds of animals. One female and male. Yeah, like you can't think that it is so hard to um, take all kind of animal in male and female. Like they can even say like Noah has brought one sheep, female and male, and one tiger he have also brought, and tiger has eaten that sheep. That Noah all gain have to. Find about the sheep, not like that. And if, like, there's two bears, female and male, and they they were saying we will not marry, then there cannot be many animals like this now. Like that, actually, they didn't. Yes, no, actually, they didn't do like that. God has prepared all the animals for Noah. <laughs> Only females are making sound. Only females are making sound. Why not? Male is not making. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Water fell from the sky and rose from the oceans and lakes. Even the tallest mountains disappeared beneath the flood. It, so God has shut the door and it started raining for 40 days and 40 nights. Like 40 days and 49 is a very long time. Like it is almost one month, one month. It is almost one month. No, it is over one month. One month, like something, something. <laughs> Maybe one month, 10 days. And they will like, and the in the word the highest mountain has gone into the water. <laughs> cool -ish. Did God tell Noah to take one of each kind of animal onto the ark? Did God set, like, mm, like, take female and tiger and sheep, you can take male like that? No, he said two kind of animal, one female and male. Meanwhile, Noah, his family, and all the animals were safe in the boat floating on the floodwaters. God had not forgotten about Noah, not even for a moment.
All the people has died, but only Noah's family was saved, and God was only like watching Noah. Du, 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 du. I am, I am. You're safe because of me. And he also didn't forgot Noah for a moment, like even one minute. God sent a wind to blow. The waters went down. The boat rested on Mount Ararat. Noah sent out a dove. When it didn't return, he knew it was safe. So, so God sent wind to blow that what water gets down and down, down and down. <laughs> And so Noah, if the bird doesn't come back, that means like there is a place to rest. So he is not coming back. If he comes back, that means it is all sea. And the bird didn't return. So Noah knew that it is safe. dry, God told them to come out. He put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he would never flood the whole earth again. So, the rainbow is... Do you guys like the rainbow? I really like the rainbow. Rainbow is the God's promise. What God has given to us as a promise. That he will never flood the earth again. <laughs> oh, all the sheep. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Question. God put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he would never flood the whole earth again. True or false? True or false? True or false? True false? True false? True false? True false? It was true. <laughs> yes. Today, I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? It was two by two. There's a rainbow, so God's promise. Yeah, then bye.